Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you a very nice Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. And in this gameplay, I am using the, the tryhard ACR class with a silencer and extended mags. Uh, but there's reason for that. I was playing with a, I was playing against a full party in ground war domination, and I was only with uh, two of my friends. So uh, I decided to strap on this class, and uh, I had to try hard to actually um, win. But ended up going out really well. I almost got the double Moab. I haven't gotten the double Moab before, but this game I was literally one away. You'll see it was going to be about a two minute and thirty second Moab. Uh, that was the first first section here in this video. And uh, but unfortunately I ran out of ammo because some uh, guy was using Dead Man's Hand, which made me waste more ammo. And then uh, I died to the last guy. They should have killed for the Moab, but yep, that sucks. But the second Moab was a two minute Moab, which is actually my fastest. Yet, it was a one minute and 58 second Moab, and my fastest is actually two minutes. So, I mean, it's not that big of a difference. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little about my perk setup and my specialist perk setup. Because I've seen a lot of funky setups when people use this. I've done a tip video before, and I'll, still a lot of people do some weird setups. And uh, I definitely do think my setup is one of the better ones for assault rifles definitely and I really do like it so my normal perks are scavenger quick draw and stalker and my specialist perks are sleight of hand marksman and hardline now the reason why I have scavenger as my normal perk and not in the specialist strike chain and I have uh, sleight of hand and specialist not as my normal perk is because with scavenger pro you start off with extra magazines and uh, say you're like on a 20 kill streak or something and um, you have scavenger, you have a specialist bonus, and you're all to ammo, but you can't find a scavenger pack. And uh, if you had scavenger as your normal perk uh, that you used instead of putting it in the specialist point streak chain, uh, that means that you'll start off with extra ammo, and you won't have run out of ammo, and you won't be desperate to find that scavenger pack. And my second perk is quick draw. And okay, here it is, dead man's hand. Caused me to die to this guy that was one bullet away from dying because I had to waste that one bullet on the guy that got into Dead Man's hand and that caused me my double Moab. But, anyways, uh, Quick Draw instead of Hardline because it is better to start off with Quick Draw because it will enable you to be able to um, aim down sights quickly and be able to win your gunfights uh, more easy and. It's not good to have Hardline as your normal perk because you start off at a disadvantage having less perks than you would before and it's good to have Hardline as your last specialist perk because it will help you get your um, your specialist bonus fast but it won't necessarily um, take away an, uh, uh, another perk that you could have had and yeah that's why a lot of people actually try and use Hardline as their normal perk but it's not good don't use that and definitely <laughs> I guess you could say just listen to me don't listen to them but yeah and so my third perk is Stalker and the reason why I'm using Stalker is because it is a very good perk especially when you get um, speed with specialist bonus and with assault rifles you'll be able to strafe back and forth really quickly and it'll definitely help you to win your gunfights and stuff like that. And Sleight of Hand is my first specialist perk because as I said earlier, Sleight of Hand is not necessary until you get your two kills and you need to reload. And Marksman is my second specialist perk. And I'm using this because it's great with assault rifles because you can shoot long ranges. And Marksman is just a great perk overall to have because it shows the enemies gamer tags uh, more often and it, it'll show the enemies uh, that'll make them stand out and you'll be able to kill them and as I said earlier hardline is my third perk for specialist uh, because you want to get your specialist bonus fast but you don't want to waste a perk uh, by using hardline as your normal one and so basically to play domination oh there's the mob guys and uh, to play domination on village basically you want to have them uh, have A and you want to have C and B you want to have them spawning around this cave area around the cave uh, near A because A is the farthest away from C and B uh, in compared to like B 
closing close to uh, A and C and stuff like that. Cause like if they had C, um, they'd be able to run over to B and uh, they'll uh, be able to get two flags more easy uh, than they'd be able to run over to B or C when they had A to get two flags. And basically, you just want to have them uh, trapped over in that area. You want to you want to spawn trap? I'm not spawn trapping in this game at all. You see me running around. I'm running around all throughout the caves, taking different routes, and uh, just finding out where they're spawning and just keep killing them and stuff like that. And this is the way you want to play this game. You want to keep them at that one flag for the whole game and have them have no more than that one flag and just uh, dominate them like we did in this game. We won 200 to 51 against this full party. And the reason why is because I, I just uh, almost got the double mob and we kept them at A. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you aren't already subscribed, I hope you think about it. And there's a final score, 67 and 4, almost a double mob. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I am signing out. Peace.